Hello everybody, this is Bronson's uh, By Any Means Necessary Fantasy Baseball Talk for Thursday, June 16th, 2022. I am here in Anchorage, Alaska. It is currently 10.05 p.m. or something, and as you can see, in the land of the midnight sun, the sun has not gone down. It's starting to go down, so I might get some, capture some good sunset shots here. Uh, but I'm out here because Point Warren's off is really cool. Uh, as you know, you get some really good overlook of the beach and sunset shots. Um, also, the planes, because the airport's right behind me, right up there on that, right on the other side of that little uh, knoll, is the airport. So the planes come in real low right here and land. So it's really cool to watch them come, uh, you know, kind of come out of nowhere over there, come in low as they're, as they're landing here. It's really, it was a really cool experience. Um, but the main reason I'm out here is because this is prime uh, moose territory, and it's prime time for moose traveling. I am on the prowl, trying to find some moose. I've not found any moose yet here in Alaska, and damn it, I am... <laughs> it's getting really frustrating. I've been a lot of places looking for moose. I haven't found any moose. So I'm hoping, walking these trails... I mean, I don't want to really... I don't want to come across one startle them or get startled by them because they're big um yeah i want to see one so that's what we're going to be looking for as i give you this timely baseball information i know it's a little late hopefully this uploads before the games tomorrow morning i'm going to walk back towards the beach so you guys can kind of see some scenery because i don't think you really want to see trees and stuff you can see trees and stuff anywhere you know I kind of hyped up this this shoot. So I want to show you guys some cool shit. But anyways, the five hitters. Five steaming hot hitters to consider adding. We got another Guardians guy. I skipped Guardians on Sunday uh, but or Monday, but we're going to have a Guardians hitter in this one. Stephen Kwan, the former Oregon State Beaver from uh, my neck of the woods. Stephen Kwan, nothing sexy. He's a very, very poor man's each row. Uh, getting a lot of singles, getting on base. Not much power to speak of, but he's consistent. Consistently, you know, gets on base. Consistently gets those hits. Consistently racks up pedestrian points for you. Next, Jesus Aguilar of the Marlins. He's eligible at first base in DH. He's heating up. Um, there always seems to be one guy for the Marlins who can hit while everybody else just stops hitting. So, oh, I can hear a plane coming in. Let's see if we can see this real quick before I continue. Hey, Juice Aguilar, first base, DH eligible. I can kind of see it coming in. Are we going to be able to see it? Yeah, there it is. kind of saw it. I'm sure there'll be another one. They're coming in every pretty consistently every two to five minutes. Busy airport here in Anchorage because it is the gateway from Asia to North America. Oh, we might have one taken off. Anyways, definitely no moose over here. Moving on. Isaiah Kiner Falafa. The shortstop for the Yankees. He's the only shortstop eligible right now, which is a bit of a drag. But he's hitting pretty well for the Yankees right now. And the Yankees are, you know, first place in baseball. We'll see if they can, um, you know, win another championship or if they're going to disappoint their fan base. Again, I'm here for it. I hope they do. I'm not a Yankee fan. I'm not a fan of any New York teams. But it's like a little ice cream truck. Right there. I'm thinking I might get some ice cream. But we're going to head back to the beach. I think it's pretty... Everybody that was down there, I think, is left. Um, Luke Voet, first base GH of the Padres. He's finally um, healthy and doing what you know he does best, which is rake. For, hit for power in a, in a potent San Diego lineup. So he's definitely someone we should be keeping a track of for hitters. And then Michael Harris... The young rookie outfielder for the Braves. Boy, has he been a godsend for uh, the Braves and for any owners who have 
picked him up. Um, I know it's only been a couple weeks, but he's definitely worth owning. All right, let's see. Let's get this beach behind me as the sun sets. The Pacific Ocean, the Cook Inlet, Anchorage, Alaska, one of my top three favorite places. I might even put it top two. Fantastic city. Summers are perfect here because it doesn't get it they don't get super hot, like 70, 80 degrees tops. But because of the the way the sun is more direct, it feels warmer than it is. Not a lot of humidity. Um, and as you can see, the sun stays out till midnight or later sometimes, which is really freaking cool in the summertime because you can do shit like this at 10.30 at night. Um, before I came to Anchorage, I was in Juneau. I laid over in Juneau. I specifically wanted the layover in Juneau. It was like an 18-hour layover. Spent the night there Tuesday night. Uh, hung out in Juneau for most of the day Wednesday. Came here Wednesday night. Uh, Juno was beautiful, um, very, very packed. All the cruise ships were docked, so uh, it was downtown was very packed. But it was a, it was a beautiful, beautiful town. I'd like to go back there sometime. I met a girl there too, which is which is cool. And she showed me around. Did a good job of being a tour guide. She's lived there her whole life. Um, you can kind of see over there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, see that tower, colorful tower. Supposed to be a lookout tower, but I'm not sure how to get up there. I couldn't figure it out. And if you go down there, also get a really awesome view of the Anchorage skyline. I might go down there. I just don't like to talk. There's people around. I don't like an audience. Uh, the streaming pictures. I got a lot of streamers. Four for Friday, four for Saturday, and two for Sunday. So it's a pretty prolific weekend for pictures to stream. Let's start with Friday. I also have to climb over some rocks to get over here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that with my hands full. I may be semi-agile for 35 years old, but I'm not that agile for 35 years old. We'll see, I did it earlier, no problem, but I, my hands weren't full. And kinda, kinda check out the uh, people hanging out on the cliff up there. People walking their dog back here. It's just a kick-ass place. Anchorage is just a kick-ass place. If you've never been to Alaska, I highly recommend it. It's beautiful, but Anchorage is just an awesome city. All right, pitchers to stream for Friday. Chronological order from the start of the game. First pitch, Hunter Green of the Reds versus the Brewers. Hunter Green. I've talked about him enough. Um, bright, bright future for that kid. And he's going to strike out a ton of people every time he throws the ball. Yeah, I know I'm not going to find any moose down here on the beach. That's okay. Plenty of time before the sun goes down to find some moose. Another plane coming in over the point here. Fun, huh? we're having fun. I think I'm going to try to avoid these rocks. Ross Stripling, Toronto Blue Jays at the Yankees. I know he's facing the Yankees, tough lineup. Ross Stripling's kind of on a roll right now. So why not ride that hot hand another day? Can't really avoid these rocks, but I'm doing fine. Kind of, kind of pay more attention to where I'm stepping this time around than I did before. Okay. Next for Friday. I said I had four. Devin Smelser, twins at Diamondbacks. Devin Smelser, uh, he's been a pretty consistent streaming option for me. Uh, I like his matchup at the Diamondbacks, even in the thin air, Phoenix. I think it's a good matchup. Diamondbacks aren't a very good hitting team. Then we got Michael Lorenzen of the Angels at the Mariners. I know Michael Lorenzen, for the most part, has been fairly consistent. You know, seven of his 10 starts have been decent enough to keep him in the conversation. And the other three have been pretty bad. But the Mariners, uh, my precious 
frustrating, complicated fandom for the Mariners. Uh, I kind of like all the graffiti on this thing too. I don't know if you guys can see that because the sun's kind of beaming um, towards us. So yeah, this is just a pretty place. Uh, I guess you can kind of see downtown Anchorage back there. I got a much better view of it when I look at it here than you guys do. You got the skyline Anchorage, you got the, the military base, Chugach Mountains back there. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful city. Mm. Yes, Michael Lorenzen, I trust, has put up another decent day here um, against my Mariners in T Mobile Park pitcher friendly venue moving on to saturday jeffrey springs of tampa bay still in the streaming tier he's getting his ownership is definitely getting up there it was right at 50 percent when i looked earlier today i'm sure it's probably higher now he's probably the most popular streamer Let's watch this plane come in while i continue to talk where is it there we are and cole Irvin, oakland versus the royals i like cole Irvin a lot Nothing, nothing too spectacular. But he gets the job done. He's consistent. He hasn't really thrown a terrible game yet. He gets enough innings to qualify for a quality start each and every time out. He gets forgotten a lot because of where he pitches, uh, where he plays, and who he plays for. Uh, if Cole Irvin, Irvin ever gets traded out of Oakland, he's going to be a pretty decent fantasy starter on a regular basis. Uh, I like his matchup against the Royals as the Royals are really struggling. Braxton Garrett, the young pitcher for the Marlins. He's uh, struggled for the most part of his career, but uh, there's still a lot of hype surrounding him. Still a lot of talent there. He's just got to get it figured out. He did have a pretty good start in his last outing. Uh, the Mets are a tough option, a tough opponent, but I do like him enough to put a mention in here. And then Josiah Gray of the Nationals at the Phillies. Josiah Gray is having a pretty damn good season, really, if you been paying attention um, kind of surprised he's still on the streaming tier i think it has to do with the fact that he doesn't rack up a lot of strikeouts but the quality starts are definitely there the wind the winds uh, uh not so much wins because the nationals aren't very good that could be another reason uh, that's holding him down and keeping him in the streaming tier but um yeah as long as he keeps producing He's gonna. I'm gonna keep mentioning it. Moving on to Sunday, a little bit lighter of a day. Hopefully by then you've got a big lead, like I have a huge lead. My teams have been so ass for the last couple of weeks. They're finally showing up this week. I don't know if it's an anomaly or not. I guess we're gonna find out. Um, Sunday, I do have three. Never mind. I don't have two. I have three. Corey Kluber, Rays at Orioles. Corey Kluber. We all know Corey Kluber could pitch. He's won the Cy Young multiple times. Um, injuries. Massive injuries have been holding him back for the last few years. But as long as he remains healthy, I don't have any wood to knock on. Corey Kluber is definitely a guy who should be on your roster. Dane Dunning of the Rangers at the Tigers. Dane Dunning is one of those guys who's either going to go out there and strike out eight guys and have a nice, really nice start, or he's going to be one of those guys who struggles and, you know, uh, gives up a lot of runs and can't get through five innings. But He's got to figure out the consistency part, but I do like this matchup against the Tigers. I think this will be one of his better days. And then Merrill Kelly of the Diamondbacks versus the Twins. Uh, Merrill Kelly has been consistent and productive enough so far this season to warrant a, a, a spot start here on Sunday. Uh, Merrill Kelly is one of those guys who who uh, just struggles with consistency his entire career. He'll put up a really good start one day, and then the next start will be ass and then he'll put up another good start next start will be ass up and down up and down this season has been no different really um he's coming off a bad start i think he got zero points in his last start so that uh, suggests that he's going to put up a start of double digits uh or more uh this time around against the twins even though the twins are a tough matchup um i'm gonna bet on merrill kelly doing what he's been doing for the entirety of his career and I'll have to start following the bad side. All right, that's it. 15 minutes. 
I hope you guys have enjoyed the views that I have selectively tried to emphasize here. I hope you, the information that I provided is useful. And I'm going to continue my hunt for damn moose because it is so annoying that no matter that I am trying so hard to find a moose and I cannot. It's like dating. I'm trying so hard to find a woman, to find a girlfriend, and I'm getting absolutely nowhere with that. And other people who aren't even trying, <laughs> my parents are seeing a whole freaking family of moose while they're just driving back from Montana. And I am going all over this freaking country, moose country, to find moose, and I can't do it. Some people, it's, things just come easy for some people. And for the rest of us, not so much. Although it is interesting that I cannot get any Tinder matches in my hometown, in the town that I live in. I cannot meet anybody. But every time I travel, I get multiple matches. And I have the only Tinder dates I have ever been on have been in cities that I do not live in. Uh, Juneau, Alaska, Puerto Rico, everywhere. Places I meet people, I meet women online on these apps everywhere I go except for the city that I live in and I do not understand it. Uh, maybe you guys can provide some insight into that. Um, I don't know. I don't really have a whole lot of viewers. I don't have a lot of followers. And, and, and people definitely don't leave comments on my stuff. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'm that ugly. I mean, my mom, everybody keeps telling me it's my personality. My mom says it's my personality. But really, these people, they're not even talking. They're not even giving me a chance to showcase my personality. They're just looking at my photos. And they're swiping left. So obviously there's something with, about the way that I look that women do not find desirable. And I don't think, I, I know I'm not super great looking. You know, I'm average looking, decent looking. I think I'm a, above average looking. I would, give, I would give myself like a seven, six and a half, seven on a one to ten scale. So I, I don't think I'm that bad. Um, but apparently I'm not good, so I don't know. Man. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. I'm gonna have to get a selfie after I stop recording this. So, uh, I'm just gonna be now. Peace, love, and nacho fries, my friends. Stay blessed. Good luck and good night.